Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mafia 2 is a more cinematic experience, you know, than a lot of games out there. Our goal is to sort of put the player in the middle of this sort of Martin Scorsese-esque experience. One of the ways that we sort of endeavour to do that is obviously you've seen our great cutscenes and the way our characters and all that sort of stuff looks, but through the, what we're actually asking the player to do, we do this as well, you know. Vito's motivation for this is it's a family debt, you know. I think everyone can relate to the power of your mother and your sister telling you, look, the family's in a lot of trouble, Vito. You're gonna have to help us sort it out. And this ultimately is what drives Vito towards um, joining the mob and actually hooking up in this criminal activity. You know, he doesn't have a lot of choice in the matter. He's a flawed character, you know. He's a, he's a likeable guy, ultimately, but the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, we want you to feel like a, a Mafia guy. We want you to behave realistically like a Mafia guy. As you say, you can become a mass murderer, and that, that that's just the nature of games, I think. It, it's, it's a difficult balance to make sure that people still can kind of hopefully relate to Vito in some way and, and sort of sympathise with what he's doing. Ultimately, Vito's in the Mafia. He's a bad guy himself, but then the people he's interacting with are maybe that little bit worse. I think that's the way to look at it. The way the realism is sort of communicated in the gameplay is the f things like the fragility of cars. You know, you can injure yourself in a car as you're driving, like like I can in real life. I have a bad smash. It's going to hurt, and that that happens in the cat in 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 the game itself. You know, and the gunplay in the game it, it's pretty um realistic. It's pretty deadly as well. You know, if you don't use cover, you're going to die pretty quickly. The environment and the setting of Mafia 2 is this big, big, expansive city called Empire Bay, and it's roughly 10 square miles in size. And it crosses two decades, two really sort of iconic decades in many different ways. The 40s with the sort of Europe and this bleak winter outlook, all outlook, sorry, all the way through to the 50s, where we have this more sort of a um, 50s is sort of, as our marketing, marketing team coin, is the birth of cool, you know. It's, it's advertising, it's branding, it's the invention of TV and all these sort of things. As well as that, we have these like scripted moments that happen around the play, you know. We know where you are at any one point in time, so we create this bubble of events around the play, you know. As you're walking down the street, you might see a cat jump off a bin or you might see a guy sort of nailing some wood or a guy shining shoes and all these things sort of happen around the player. The team at 2K Czech obviously are Czech based, but we have a lot of American influence in the game, and, and British influence I like to say. But the, where the American influence comes in, these guys are the experts in the dialogue, you know. The story it was written in Czech, but then it's had a huge treatment here in America. As well as that, the voice recording, the casting, the direction, all that sort of stuff is uh, handled out of Hollywood. And uh, it, yeah, we're really pleased with the end result, you know. We think um, gamers are going to be really pleased with the end result.